Big problem with a lot of athletes, sore back, low back, transfers up to the middle of the back, sometimes all the way up here to your upper traps. You feel this in your neck. Hip flexors are tight, quad is tight, but really it resonates from very, very immobile hips. I'm gonna show you a really quick sequence that you can do in your living room. I'm here in my office, I'm wearing my skinny jeans. Get down on the floor, you don't have to go to a gym to do these. I'm gonna just show you a tight little sequence that you can put together, do it every night, get on the floor, you finish dinner before, before you go out to run or ride, try this as well. It also will help your mobility on the swim because if you're tight in your hip flexors, your low back can hurt. So here we go. Get on all fours, put your leg out to the side. And as I do this, I want you to think about obviously stretching your adductors, which you're gonna feel right away. And I'm just gonna rock, rock back and forth and back and forth. I feel this in my adductors. Now I can start engaging my hip by moving that foot back just a little bit more. So if I look at the line, it's almost lined with my back foot on my left leg. It's my right leg out here. I'm now going to rotate forward and down. So I'm pushing my pelvis down. So rather than my adductors, now I feel this in my hip joint. And that's where I want to feel it. I can simultaneously squeeze this glute, then relax it and squeeze it and relax. I can push down and look at my toe on that right side. If I rotate up even more, that begins to, to extend that hip just a tad more and I can start to feel this in that hip joint. So I can rotate down. Ankle is pretty much dorsiflex. It's real tight there. Rotate up on my toes. Obviously, I want to do this on both sides, eight to 10 reps. Take about a minute and a half to two minutes on each side. From here, bring that right knee in, left leg back. Heel is almost right in my uh, crotch, chest up nice and high, transverse abdominis, drawing in my belt line muscle. I'm going to rotate my hip outward. So as I do this, that ball joint of my hip is going to feel a nice stretch. I'm going to rotate it outward, outward, keep my chest tight, and keep going down. I'm going to bring my elbows down to the floor. That's the second step. My heel is now underneath my thigh. I'm going to crack my back leg by extending it back just a little bit more, and I can actually come up on my toes with my left leg. I'm going to continue to go down lower and lower with that right hip. And now I got it down even to touch chest up high. And I'm just going to rotate back and forth so I have a dynamic mobility stretch in, in that hip. And I can really sort of lean back on it. I'm staggering my hands. I can lean back on it as well. And I can begin to feel that in my hip. I'm pushing down with the glute on my right side. Uh, last one from here, right leg goes forward. Again, you can do that on both sides. Left leg is back. If you look at the angles, nine degrees, nine degrees. So if we look at my shin on my right leg, my quad on my left, lower leg on my left, and right quad on my right side, all at right angles. I can put my right hand back because my right leg is forward. I'm going to pivot up and push the hip forward so I can feel this in my quad and also my hip, I can come back down and push down and try to relax that TFL that's on top. That's my hip flexor that's biting me right now and it wants to pull me in here. I'm going to push down and try to open it up and by doing that I can lay back and bring my elbow down here and get a little bigger stretch. I'm going to pull down on that TFL to kind of elongate it and this is a really wonderful stretch and also a mobility exercise because I'm applying a little bit of pressure on that TFL, right on the hip. I can move it up. I can take a tennis ball, I can rub it on there as well to see if I can get this glute, this one, left side, closer to the floor. Do those in succession. That'll help your hip mobility and it'll be a good start to alleviating some of that quad and low back pain.